Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Safdie, Editor-in-Chief in Neurology Today, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Jessica Ayalani, who's going to speak to us about her study about Atojapant. So uh, welcome, Jessica. Tell us about your work. Thank you so much for having me. So our group studied Atojapant, which is an oral CGRP receptor antagonist that is in development for prevention of migraine. In particular, this was a phase three trial titled ADVANCE that was looking at Atojapan in three different doses, 10 milligrams, 30 milligrams, and 60 milligrams dosed once a day in the prevention for patients with migraine. This group of patients in general had episodic migraine about a frequency close to eight days a month. And it was comparing these doses of Atojapan to placebo. The trial was three months in duration. And the goal question was by taking Atojapan any of these doses, could we reduce migraine frequency over the duration of the trial compared to taking placebo? In the world of migraine, we know that not everyone is on prevention medication, which is the idea of reducing attack frequency so we can reduce disease burden and have patients feel more functional and really get back into life. But they are a portion of patients that need prevention and we need more migraine specific options out there. We have this great uh, new category of CGRP targeted therapy, but many of them are injectable. So having oral options really presents a whole new sphere to patients. And so that's why we really conducted this investigation to look at if this oral option would be a good thing for patients. So the study actually showed that all three doses of Atojapan reached statistical significance in reducing migraine days over the time period of the study compared to placebo. And in fact, if we look at the therapeutic gain, which is what I look like to look at as a clinician, what's the chance that a patient actually achieved improvement and what's the difference from placebo? Even at the lowest dose of Atojapan, patients had about 1.2 days benefit compared to placebo. And at the dose of about 60 milligrams, patients had a therapeutic gain of 1.72 days. And this was statistical significant. We also took a look at many secondary measures, which are very important in clinical care. We looked at uh, disability associated measures. What's the chance that patients had improvement in quality of life, improvement in um, performance of daily activities and reduced physical impairment. And for doses of 30 and 60 milligrams of Atojapan, they met all of their secondary endpoints. The 10 milligrams fell a little short on meeting these secondary endpoints. We also noticed that patients um, with these doses were able to use less acute medication, which is very important because if a patient is responding well to preventive treatment, we hope and the patient hopes that they can use less acute treatment because that also indicates they're perhaps having less attacks and the attacks they have, maybe they're not as severe, so maybe they don't need to use as many acute treatment options for those attacks and that patients were having less headache days, not only migraine days. And this was significant compared to placebo. So it was very exciting findings for this study. Oh, definitely. And I think, you know, the world of CGRP antagonists, you know, really is continuing to grow. The story is continuing to be told. And I think neurologists are becoming more and more comfortable using these drugs. You know, currently, you know, they're, they're, as you said, the, they're only available, uh, you know, subcutaneously or intravenously. So this sounds like a really interesting novel option for preventative therapy. How do you think it's going to um, interact though with sort of the G-pants uh, for abortive therapy? Do you think that they'll be able to be used together? Do you think that it's going to, one is gonna preclude the other? Yeah, this is a really good question. I think that many of us are already asking, you know, we know we have G-pants available, Ubrojapan and Remijapan for acute use for migraine. Well, what happens if these uh, medications for prevention like Atojapan are FDA approved and somebody's already doing well on a G-pant for acute treatment? Can they take Atojapan and then take Remijapan for acute treatment? I think that's a good question. This is definitely an area that we want to focus some studies on. What's the safety? What's the benefit? Um, you know, based on their Tmax and half-life, if the medicine's still in the system and you take additional medication, is that possibly beneficial? There are studies right now looking at treatment of atojapan in chronic migraine where the dosing regimen is different. So there is a possibility that there's a twice a day option. So we know that if you do take additional medicine, perhaps it might be effective. So perhaps if you take an additional GPAN, perhaps there might be some benefit. You can see there's a lot of these I don't knows, but I think that we're going to figure that out. And that's what's so exciting about our field. A lot of these boxes that are going to get checked over the next several years. And for patients, I think that's 
really great news. Yep, I agree. I think ultimately, when it comes to a disease like migraine, similar to epilepsy, where there's likely more than one mechanism at play, you know, having additional options that target different um, therapeutic targets is never a bad thing. And so now we're in the, the CGRP era, but of course we still have our traditional oral preventative medications. We have our triptans. And so uh, we have onabotulinum toxin. And so, you know, I think the ideally managed migraine patient is likely going to have, you know, a, a therapeutic regimen that engages these different targets in different ways, depending on the patient's characteristics. And, you know, having new options is never a bad thing. And, and your study sounds really exciting. And, you know, we hope to see what the future brings. So thank you so, so much. And uh, we look forward to hearing the next steps. Well, thank you for having me.